yeah. you motherfucking do I don't so. think I love you, my emotions aren't the same I'd rather be alone than go hang out with some lames It's funny how What's up everybody, in this video I'll be doing an educational commentary on how to win more fights and play aggressive with smart positioning and solos. These tips can also be used in duos, squads, and other game modes. So if you enjoy these following tips that can help you get you to your next solo win, please make sure you leave a like and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Now with further ado, let's get right on into it. Okay, so as you can see, this footage is pretty old because the island was at retail, and I landed retail because the island was at retail, so that meant like I can get it just as much kills as if I landed tilted. My favorite spot to land is this brick house because I can get a weapon out the window and easily kill the person that's getting a chest that's above on top of the house. Now I drop down and I catch this guy fixing his inventory, so that led me to a free kill. So just a heads up, always fix your inventory in cover or after a fight. So as you can see, I start farming up all the furniture in the house because it's the easiest way to get wood by it being one tap. And each house can give you at least up to 150 wood so you don't have to go farm trees. You can just start playing aggressive right away after looting the house. So right here I noticed that it was a skull trooper on top of the house so I tried to throw some grenades at him to see how much shield he have left. And I noticed that he started looting the guy on top of the house. Which led me to start pushing him. So right here he put a stare of me, I pyramid him. I didn't expect him to edit down so I like trap spammed him which led into a headshot. I killed this kid so I heard gunfire at Broken House and I put some shots in, easily stole that guy kill. Try to put some fires in to him but I couldn't do too much because I was 20 HP and I had to find some heals. The skull trooper I killed didn't have heals. He had no loot. Alright, so I found a med kit in this house from somebody not looting correctly. And I noticed I heard somebody flying in from the island and land on top of that house. I wasn't too sure if he knew that I was in here or not. So I decided to break in through the attic and break from the top of the house to get a better positioning for myself. And I spot him, he had a quad launcher. Where did you get that from? Start building up, I put some shots in so he couldn't get high ground. I'm not up Notice when I shot, I mean. put a floor under me so I wouldn't fall down. So I noticed we were getting third party by looking with wings. So as you can see, third party in did not go well for this guy. I knocked off all his shield. I know that he don't have no shield. We getting third party by the drift skin yeah, with the I'm quad sure launcher. Notice I'm still playing aggressive as we get third party though. You see I'm still focused on this guy. Because if I focus on the drift then that means he have a chance to heal up and come for me. So always play aggressive even when you get third party. So I noticed he got a double barrel, so I couldn't get too close to him. So I start using my edits against him to get a better position. I got high ground on him. He jumped down from high ground as he was on top with me. I noticed he started farming the um, wood fences. So that tells me one thing. He doesn't have as much mats as me. I have 500 wood. He probably have like, I'll say like 30 or something. So as you can see, I make this quick edit play. He didn't know that I was under the stair. Boom, easy trap kill. All right, so this guy had me I quickly heal up as I hear more footsteps and a grappler come toward me. He jumps down, he hear my shotgun being deployed. I hit the window, try to put some shots in. 
This guy did not play this well at all, by the way. Because I'm pretty much in a box. He can literally do so much to me. So I try to put some edits in him. He missing his shots. I put a shot in him. 50 damage. I edit out. I didn't have my shotgun reloaded, so I had to quickly get out of there. So I know that he's breaking up to get high ground, so I beat him to high ground. We wind up getting to a small build fight. He kept cucking himself with his floors being built above him. Usually when people put like floors above them or something it's because they panic. Okay, so as you see there, I won that build fight because the simple fact he didn't have his shotgun out. So I hear someone glider coming from the island. Try to put some quick shots in. I grapple up to the hill. He sniped my stair. I still grapple to him. I didn't take the shot because I noticed that he had a double barrel. And I kind of choked that. And yeah, pretty much that fight explained itself. Wasn't too much to explain there. I hate when we're so far ahead but in teammates don't cap zones. Like, so guys, that's seven game. kills out of retail. Notice how I was playing super aggressive. It was times where I had to play passive, but I was being smart about it and still keeping that aggression going. Double barrel. I'm blue tack and I'm going off. I got seven kills out of retail. Okay, so I quickly moved over to stores to check for more bodies, see if anybody was still at retail. And as you can see, I started farming right away because I was low on materials from that build fight. I wasted actually too many materials, and that's like what you want to avoid. But it's totally fine because, like, if you like to farm like I do, then you should be good. So I go to the island to get a better rotation I see this elite agent next to me and I was planning on landing on him which I do must be nice I rendered all the trash cans now these gold troopers that I'm fighting I can't relate oh yeah all right so we land I build up put some shots in I missed my first shotgun shot he was very low on HP. He didn't build, which led to a free kill. So, if somebody ever launch pad on you, or flying, or gliding onto you in any type of way, you instantly want to build up at least two to three stories high to get to be above them. But you have to time it. Make sure they feet hit the ground, then you build. Because if you build earlier, they can just jump right into your base or whatever you built. Okay, so this fight is an interesting one. I, this kid dropped me down to very low HP. And notice how I still remain my aggression and I still play calm. Well, this is where I die, brother. So see, I'm playing aggressive, I'm still fighting back. And I'm remaining calm, not panicking at all. Pop a shield. He grapple up, I uh, instantly build, which blocked him, which cucked him and made him drop all the way to the bottom. And I notice I hear him under me, so I edit down, get that free shot, boom. He fall down, I edit a window, he's dead. Always stay calm and fight, guys. That will literally make you a better player and it will help you win much yeah, more fights because if you panic then you gonna overthink so being relaxed and being patient is another thing always time everything if you're wondering what I mean by time everything is like know when to fight back know when to get the high ground to heal know when to heal you know like it be times where you can't pop his shield because maybe he's above you and you don't hear him so you literally got to pay attention to your surroundings and always time everything. My sense reset itself, I wonder. Okay, so here's another thing that can help you guys. Yep. Notice I'm moving on the outer skirts of the circle. Uh, I'm literally like going against the circle. Don't like storm run, but 
attack some more. Try to stay on the edge of the circle because that will prevent you from getting third partied in every fight. It'll literally get you those clean 1v1s every time. Where'd the kid go? So this small little fight is the perfect example right here. You see how this is a clean 1v1. No one else is around to shoot at us. It's a fair 1v1. Hold on, I'm about to storm. Fuck him. So I noticed that the storm was about to start ticking in in 30 seconds. And it was pretty far. So I pick up the shockwave. And so get a wave. And start heading to the storm. He started shooting me with his Chill scar. Out. Chill out. Remaining calm. Just moving towards the storm. You see how I'm checking behind me, I'm just, as I'm running forward, I'm still jumping and looking behind me to see like if he's chasing me or is he like still shooting at me or what. Always check your surroundings as you run. Alright, so I get up on this hill. I already knew that somebody was up here. I heard him walking around in this shed. No need to build in those type of fights. I mean, I could have prevent taking damage if I build, but... I mean... It's pretty, like... <sighs> that wasn't very nice. Preference type of thing. Like, it's left. what do you prefer in fights. I mean, I could have prevented taking damage. But I was just like, I already know he's gonna die. I'll be fine. Oh, I just took four damage. That was stupid of me. Where are these? Li I know one of them is a rook. He's the one that's being a pain. All right, so as you can see, moving to like the final stages of the circle. Two people left. I have ten kills. Pretty decent game. So. Notice I'm still moving on the edge of the storm, guys. I'm trying to prevent being third party. Oh, that's so goaded. I okay. luckily lucked up to find this slurp. slurp. I pop that instantly. Slurp. Pick up my bandage. Keep moving on the edge. Oh, I see him. Okay. So I noticed oh, that I seen the rook that was fighting me in the last storm. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try to save him for last. Even when you feel like you have enough mats, always continue to farm up because there's no such thing as having too much mats. Like, there's no such thing as having, oh, I have too much mats. The more mats you have, the better. So I see that this is one of the two of the final guys. I build up on them, try to show them some style. I trap them. I noticed he was shooting at the trap. So that's why I kept spamming the wall there. He tried to launch pad away. Didn't work. GG's. He's dead. So, you see that fight right there? Try to make your fights just like that. As quickly as possible. Because the quicker your fights, the less match you're going to use. And the less match you use, the more you have. The better. Always remember that. So I launch pad to this last guy. I noticed he's sitting next to the launch pad. I thought he was gonna use it, but he didn't. So I started building up on this guy. He got to jump on me, as you can see. Clearly have high ground on me. And I decided to box myself up because I'm like, okay, this guy is definitely overbuilding because notice not one time he didn't shoot at me. That's how you know if somebody overbuilder. They just have they build out. They just literally pen and pencil warrior. Like this pencil warrior. Straight up have they build out. So I decided to jump down. Uh as you see I faked him out with the tunnel. He continued to build up. So I decided to break him down because it's like why not? <laughs> Every Fortnite player trolled the last guy, right? So I decided to troll him. Break him down, get that easy twelve kill win, baby. If you guys enjoyed that educational commentary and these tips help you win your next solo, make sure you smash that like button.